Hello friends, welcome to another module of this program. Today, in this module, we will talk about what is host header injection and what is URL redirection. So, first of all, let's talk about what is host header attack, host header injection, or host header poisoning. Basically, it is a common practice for the same web server to host several websites or web application on the same IP address. That's why the host header exists. The host header specifies which website or web application should process an incoming HTTP request. The web server uses the value of this header to dispatch the request to the specified website or web application. And this attack can be exploited using web cache poisoning or by abusing alternative channel like password reset email. Now, let's learn what are all the possible methods via which we can execute host header injection and what are the steps to reproduce it. The first we'll talk about changing host header. First of all, you need to find URL having status code of 200 series or 300 series. In burp suit, you can do it by intercepting the request and sending it to spider. Then after that, search the link which is having the status code of 200 and 300 series. Then send this to repeater and in repeater, what you need to do, you need to change the host from testphp.oneweb.com to some other website on which you want the website to redirect, maybe xyz.com and if it gets redirected, and didn't give any error, then host header poisoning exists over there. But in many cases, it has happened that after changing the host, the website gets redirected and didn't give the error. But when we check the response in the browser, there is no sign of the redirection cause the website is not redirecting from this link to this link. So over there, host header injection has not been executed. It can happen maybe because web application firewall is blocking this method. In that case, we use the second method and that is adding X forwarded host. In this case, what we do, we add X forwarded host and write the name of the website like this. And in this case, if it gets redirected and shows the response on the browser of redirection, then in that case, we can say this method has been successfully executed. But if web browser is unable to show the redirection, then in that case, host header has not been implemented. There is one more method via which we perform host header injection and that is swapping X forwarded host. In this case, what we do, we swap host with X forwarded host. As you can see over here, testphp.oneweb.com has been written in X forwarded, which was a part of host and host has been written as xyz.com which was part of x forwarded. So we have swapped both of these. Now let's talk about what is web cache poisoning attack. So basically it is a technique that is used by an attacker to manipulate a web cache to serve poison content to anyone who requests pages. And for this to occur, an attacker would need to poison a caching proxy run by the site itself or maybe by downstream providers or maybe by CDNs. CDNs stand for Content Delivery Network or we can use other caching mechanism in between the client and the server. The cache will then serve the poison content to anyone who requests it with the victim having no control on whatsoever on the malicious content being served to them. Also, now let's talk about how we can reset password via host header. So in this, we need to generate a secret token and send an email with a link containing this token. Just imagine what could happen if an attacker requests a password reset with an attacker controlled host header. If the web application make use of the host header value when composing this link, when creating this link, then an attacker can poison the password link that is sent to the victim. And if the victim clicks on the poisoned link, then the attacker will obtain the password reset token and will go ahead and reset the victim's password. And unfortunately, he or she 
will get a hold of the victim's account so that's what happen in password reset poisoning now let's talk about what is url redirection basically url redirections are possible when a web application accepts untrusted input and by modifying these untrusted input we can redirect to a malicious website so in that case an attacker may successfully launch a phishing scam or steal user credentials you must be wondering how we can hunt for url redirections you just need to find a url parameter having some kind of tendency to redirect somewhere so that's all for today thank you so much for watching this tutorial